Okay, so we are going to be making the candle holder and first you need to start off by making all the necessary measurements. So the main piece of the candle holder is going to be 10 inches long, so you need to mark that. Um, and each foot for the candle holder is going to be three-fourths of an inch, and there's going to be two feet. And that's a very now good thing to do. These lines, so you have a full line to follow when you're cutting. Okay, now you are done with this part. These measurements you need to flip it over so you can make your measurements for the dado grooves. Um, they are going to be two inches from each end of your main piece. Now just connect those. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is um, space out the holes where you will be cutting for the candles. So you are going to make the first hole two inches away from the edge, but first you need to measure the length of this so you can make sure your holes are lined up in the middle. So this is five inches, um, so that means you will be making your holes at two and a half inches. So it's easiest if you just make the line and run it across so you don't mess up where your holes are placed. So we got that. So now the center of the first hole is two inches away from the left edge. Evan hasn't taken any safety tests. Um, the middle hole is going to be five inches away from the left edge. And the third hole is going to be eight inches away from that left side. So now you are ready to move to the miter saw. Okay, so now we have to, we're at the miter saw and we need to cut the main piece off and the two legs. 
So first, make sure that the vacuum is attached so the cleanup is minimal. And make sure that the blade is lined up with the lines before you turn on the saw and start making the cut. So we are ready now. And give yourself four inches of space between the blade and your hand. Um, and you'll want to pull this forward so you can drag the blade all the way through so you make sure the cut goes all the way through. Okay. Okay, so now we have all our pieces cut out. Okay, so now we're moving over to the drill press to drill the seats for the candles, and we're using a one and a half inch Forstner bit. So, before you start drilling, sure. make sure that the center of the drill bit is aligned with your dot, so everything is equal. Um, and clamp down your stock so that it doesn't move while you're drilling. So everything is lined up. Okay, so now we just need to move this over. Okay, that's lined up, so clamp it down again. Okay, so we're going to need to move the clamp over, so actually we can just twist this. Make sure it's lined up. And now you are done with this part. Okay, so here we have our candle holder, and we already made a mark at two inches from the edge. And we're going to be using, a, we're going to use a dado cut, but we're going to cut on the inside of the two inches. So you need to turn on the saw and.
to the table saw. What width is your dado cut? Our dado cut is 5 8 and uh, okay. you know how high you're cutting into the wood? No. So how high is that? Is that less than half? It's less than half, yeah. Less than half. Because you don't want to have it cut into this, right? Yeah. Okay, so set that up. Okay. That first. Yeah, Okay, okay. And then we'll stop it. Shut it down, wait for that whole thing to stop. And this is the data cut for one side. You need to do it to the other side too. So now we are at the gluing station where we glue the feet into the dado grooves. So you start by just putting a strip of glue in the dado grooves. Oh, whoops. Make sure they're lined up on the ends with the top piece so that one end isn't sticking out further than it should be. Do the same thing on the next side. So now you have to take the clamps and clamp them into place so they dry well. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. So now you just have to wait for it to dry. Okay, so when you're done gluing the feet in, you are done. There's no need to sand or finish because it'll take away from the rustic look of the wood.